very big thank you to all my patrons who keep this channel going. Thank you guys. Welcome to the Twisted Tentacle Inn. I'm your innkeeper, Vase Odin, and today we're doing our final deck test for Tommy Muldoon for the League of Extraordinary Investigators. Last week I showed you guys a little bit of my process for building decks and refining them. I also uploaded a video that was testing the deck that we built uh, previously in the week. And uh, the deck did okay, but it still had a few weaknesses that I needed to shore up. So I've tested the deck a few more times since then, and I have refined it more and more using the same process and have come up with this as my final deck. So far, it's been working out pretty well. I've added an extra 32 Colt and kept the 245 automatics and the one flashlight and counting on Becky coming out at some point in every game. Spiritual Resolve, still keeping three copies. That's kind of the, the benchmark for this deck. And uh, I added Police Badge. I got rid of the grenades. They weren't really doing much more than just killing a single enemy. I will upgrade to them, though, because later in the campaign, you do need to kill more than just an enemy at a time. But for right now, Police Badge was helping me tremendously, not only with action economy, giving me two free actions once in the game, but also boosting my willpower, which was a big necessity in the previous version of the deck. Uh, I've also added Mr. Rook by adding Versatile, which lets you put in one card from another card pool and you get to add five additional cards to your deck or five cards in addition uh, to the 30 that you normally start it with. So I've taken the opportunity to add some more skill cards that will boost my willpower. Uh, basically, the, the event cards have more or less stayed the same. I did add two copies of Live and Learn because I found that that was tremendous in helping me uh, to shore up some easy tests that I was committing cards to that I need to. Live and Learn is actually being really helpful for those, those kind of tests. And I've also added two copies of Steadfast. Got rid of Daring because I didn't really need the additional combat bonus. So Steadfast will help me with either combat or willpower. Very nice. And then two copies of Intrepid to help with willpower tests, but also help with other tests once I pass a willpower test. So with all that said, let's go ahead and just get the game started. Welcome to the Twisted Tentacle Inn. I am your innkeeper, Vase Odin, and today we're doing our final practice run for the League of Extraordinary Investigators. We have refined our Tommy deck a few times. I've only posted one playthrough video, but uh, I didn't want to bombard the channel with the same scenario over and over. But I have played it a few more times now and refined the deck a couple more times, and I believe it is ready to go. The main issues uh, that I found myself facing now with this new deck is... Um, basically getting the right cards at the right time. I mean, it's, I think, a problem that a lot of decks have, but uh, in this case, uh, having a way to defend myself, at least in this scenario, is going to be key. The clue part uh, with this deck, it's a little bit slower than most other decks, uh, most other investigators. So Tommy is not the fastest clue gatherer, especially the way that I've built it here. It's gonna be a little bit difficult. Um, to get clues quickly, but I've planned for that. So this is going to be kind of a marathon run. Uh, the, the issue, though, despite that, is there are a lot of enemies when you play solo in this entire campaign. And these enemies in particular, uh, you can't just tank the damage or evade or anything of the sort. You have to kind of chase them down and kill them, because if you don't, they're going to advance the agenda, and you're going to lose very quickly. So that is the main issue that we're battling with. Um, overall, it's it works out fairly well. The only times that I have had certain issues are when the Brotherhood cultists uh, come out. If they come out like two in a row or, or one after the other uh, within just a couple of rounds of each other, it is devastating because they do eat up my ammo and I don't have any bladed weapons, so I do run out of uh, charges and ammo for my weapon attacks. And then that puts me in a really bad position because with these Brotherhood cultists, the minute you attack them, they gain a doom. So you're now attacking a 3-3 three, three creature, 3 combat, 3 health. Tommy's evade is not good, so that's not an option. And even if it were, uh, there are cards in the encounter deck that are going to put more doom on those cultists, and then they're going to be nearly impossible to defeat, and they're going to doom you out. So the, the Brotherhood cultist is the biggest challenge in this entire scenario, and I still haven't found an easy way to deal with them short of a dynamite blast. But, you know, that's not <laughs> always a solution that's going to be around. Um, actually, before I flip that, 
I should have drawn my hand, but I don't think it matters here. In case you're new to this or you're unfamiliar with the League of Extraordinary Investigators, uh, it's a fun league. It's not like a, you know, super competitive type of uh, league, but we all play the same scenario and uh, you're trying to get like certain achievements and you're going to get points based on that. And um, we we'll play it like a campaign. So we're going to run through certain scenarios of the Forgotten Age, not all of them, but we're going to run them as if they were a campaign or like a mini campaign and earn experience points and um, be able to upgrade your deck and all that stuff. So and you'll get trauma too. So anyways, uh, we've drawn our first hand. It is all skill cards. This is a proxy for Spiritual Resolve, which is a card that is in this pack that, that is coming out. Um, that is a three cost asset with a willpower icon and a three health, three uh, horror value. Uh, I will be getting that card sometime this week. I've ordered the pack from Finland, so it should be arriving sometime this week. But as of now, there's three copies of this uh, because it is a myriad card. So there's three copies in the deck, and they're all in the same rogue card. That way I can differentiate from the others. So for now, it's a proxy. Uh, anyways, this hand is um, not great because the main thing that I need from the very beginning is a weapon. I'm not too worried about any other things, clue gathering stuff, because I got plenty of skill cards. So we're going to mulligan the entire hand. Also important in this deck is getting one of these in my opening hand. Although a weapon is number one, um, I think I'm going to keep this and then I'll mulligan those four. So we'll see what else we get. Okay, well, live and learn ain't bad. And we did get Becky, so that's good. So we've got a decent starting hand, ways to get clues and ways to uh, combat. So let's reshuffle this and then we'll get started. Um, the deck uh, basically is uh, pretty much a straightforward fight and investigate. For investigation, we're mostly using skill cards, a lot of uh, survivor tricks to pull ahead when we fail. And um, we have uh, the uh, intrepid deal, so you, you know, with the uh, police badge. So we can actually get two extractions. And uh, if you had taken a test in the mythos phase with worth willpower and you committed intrepid, you're going to have plus one to all your other stats, not willpower for five actions, which is huge. That's kind of the finale. What I'm hoping it will, I'll be able to pull off at the very end, get that final thing and be done with it. Anyways, um, let's get started. So we've gotten our, uh, this shuffled, that shuffled, we've got our hand. Here we go. I'm going to leave my hand here so you guys can see it. We'll begin by spending two resources and putting Becky out on the board. That way we can defend ourselves from enemies. It's got two ammo on it. We'll spend three resources to put our spiritual resolve in play as well. And we have another action. Uh, in this case, I don't want to move to Miskatonic University yet because there's encounter cards in there that can make it harder for me to investigate, like uh, nobody's home. will take two actions for me to investigate. That's going to be brutal. So... If we pull that card on our first Mythos phase, I'd rather it falling here. So we're going to instead draw a card. And we get another Spiritual Resolve. That's actually going to be very useful right now. So that ends our turn. And we will draw a card. And it is lucky. We gain a resource. Put a Doom on the agenda. And <laughs> we draw a creature. First thing that's going to use up all of our ammo. Um... <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing with this scenario is there's so many monsters. Okay. So, so creature engages us. It is a three, four, one. I'm going to deal with it, but the first thing I want to do is move to Miskatonic university. That'll put me at, um, for a four shot, two clues, and it'll put me at one damage, one horror, which I put on spiritual resolve. The next thing I'm going to do is investigate. Uh, which we'll use, um, yeah, so we'll investigate. So we're going to go a three to a four. Don't try this at home, kids, unless you're prepared. <laughs> three to a four is not a good odds here, and that's a zero. So we failed by one. So what we'll do is we'll spend one resource and play lucky, and that will get us a clue. So we've nailed, where are my clues? Oh, they're all here. Uh, we've gotten one clue, and he hits us for damage and a horror. 
and then uh, final action. Uh, I think we'll, I think we'll shoot him. Yeah, we'll shoot him this time with an ammo that puts us six to a three. Minus two, that's good enough. So he takes two damage, still alive. Turn ends, enemy hits us, this dies. Um, that's six. We're going to take it as ammo for Becky. So we're going to take six ammo for Becky. That'll set us up for the rest of the game. Very nice. And then it gets reshuffled into the deck. Only because that's Tommy's ability. All right. So that's shuffled. And now uh, we draw a card and gain a resource. So we'll draw a card. Did I draw a card already? I don't think so. Draw a card. Gain a resource. <clears throat> Doom. And it is another one of these guys. Oh, my goodness. Glad we got some extra ammo here for it. Let's shoot away. So Becky shoots the Hunting Night Gaunt for two damage. That's a six to a three. Tablet. Tablet's a minus two, so he's dead. One down. Action number two. We'll shoot him again. Shoot this guy now. Six to a three. It's a skull. Skull is a zero, so he takes two damage. Use another ammunition. Six to a three. It's a zero. So he's dead. We're down to four ammo. See what I mean? It, my ammo gets eaten up so fast in this scenario. <laughs> that, uh, that's why it's so important to have a weapon. Otherwise, it's pretty much I'm dead in the water. All right. So that's all my three actions. There's no enemies on the board. So we'll draw a card. And we get, look what I found. Gain a resource. We're set up for clues here. Three Doom on the agenda. Let me make sure I don't have too many cards. Nope, nope. And we get Nobody's Home, the one I was trying to avoid. All right, so it takes two actions to investigate. We're going to, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and investigate three to a four. That's it. Cultist, so we take a damage because we failed. And then we're going to play Live and Learn, so we can take the test again at a plus two. Now we're a five to a four. And it will commit Unexpected Courage, putting us at seven to a four. Hey, that's an Elder Sign. Uh, we can assign damage to an asset. We don't have any. We get the clue. And um, that was two actions because of nobody's home. But we've got both clues. We'll spend them both to advance. Harlan is in danger. He gets put in East Town. And uh, final action, we're going to go ahead and move into Northside. I'm not too worried about nobody's home now. That was the toughest one. Uh, after that, I don't care. All right, that ends the turn. Draw a card, and we get evidence, and we gain a resource. So that puts us at three resources. Good. We can play our other spiritual resolve. All right. End of the round. New turn. New round. Mythos phase. Doom on the agenda. We draw. Hunting shadow. Lose a clue or take two damage. Ouch. That's brutal, because now we're at three damage. We don't have any clues to spend. Okay. So... Let's investigate. Three to a three. That's a cultist. Um, that is a failure, but we'll spend... We won't put in our spiritual resolve down. Hmm, do we? Yeah, let's not do that. We'll use live and learn, and that test gets retaken. A five to a three this time. Minus three, that's not good enough. <laughs> well, that's a failure, so action number one spent. Action number two, we'll spend three resources and put our spiritual resolve. Let's uh, let's move from here for now. We'll move to the curiosity shop. It's got two clues and two shroud. That's action number two. Action number three, we'll investigate a three. We'll commit this to put us at a four. Four to a two, zero. So we get a clue. Okay. And that ends our turn.
Draw a card, police badge, gain a resource, and doom. It is an acolyte. We'll put him right over here at north side. He will help us get that clue with our evidence. Actually, it's probably best. Uh, yeah, no, we'll put him there. Okay. Uh, let's try this again. We're going to go... Uh, hmm. No, let's draw a card. Draw a card. It's a B-Cop. Action 2. We'll draw a card again. And it is take the initiative. That... Um, B-Cop, take the initiative. Uh, we'll draw another card. Uh, let me see. One, two, three, four, five. As you can tell, this deck requires you to spend actions to draw cards. Might be a drawback, but... Hey, it works. Unexpected Courage. That's all three actions. Turn ends. Draw a card and gain a resource. And now we will doom out. So six doom. That means this advances. We are on agenda two. We shuffle this. Uh, we haven't completed any acts, so we don't add a doom to the agenda. All right, one last shuffle here, and then, okay. And it is Mysterious Chanting, so he gets two Doom on him. I'm glad we put him there, because <laughs> now we have to deal with him. So this is what I meant by you have to deal with, your enemy, with the enemies in this scenario quickly, because they just keep getting Doom very, very quickly. So let's uh, finish off this investigation uh will commit an unexpected courage that'll put us at a five to a two and that's a plus one so got the clue uh we're gonna move into north side where the acolyte will engage us it's action number two action number three um we're gonna commit uh, for action number three, we'll commit the beat cop, putting us at a five to a three. Minus two, that's good enough. Yes, we just punched him because he's only got one health. That saved us three doom right there. Okay, and since he's dead, we'll spend a resource to play evidence and pick up a clue. That's our turn. Draw a card, gain a resource. We are, oh, did I already gain a resource? I thought I was left with one. Yeah, so we'll just say gain a resource, draw a card. Uh, doom on the agenda and nobody's home. So it'll take two actions to get this clue. Uh, not too worried about it. Let's uh, take the initiative. We're investigating at a six to a three. Two actions though, zero, so that's good enough. We get that last clue, nobody's home goes away. Final clue, so we're at three clues. Okay. That was action number one and number two. Action number three, let's move into downtown. Downtown is four shroud, two clues. Uh, that ends our turn. Draw a card and it is a glimmer of hope. Gain a resource, we're at three resources. And then Doom. And the secret must be kept. Uh, test three willpower, or take one damage and one horror. Uh, we haven't completed any X, so it doesn't get the rider that's under that. And that's a minus five, so we, <laughs> we fail. So we take one damage and one horror on our spiritual resolve. Okay, it is our turn. We're going to play Glimmer of Hope. So we're a four to a four. Minus three, that's not good enough. Ah, come on. We'll spend one resource to get Glimmer of Hope back in our hand. Do we have any others in here? I don't think so. No. Um, 
Action number two, commit Glimmer of Hope, 4 to a 4. Minus 5, come on. That didn't go so well. Um, in this case, in this case, let's do this. We'll gain a resource. And we'll just call that a round. So there's the round, draw a card. It is a flashlight and gain a resource. So we are at four resources. All right, false lead. Uh, so we have to test four intellect. Mm, okay. We're going to commit take the initiative that puts us a six to a four for every point we fail by we have to place a clue in our location that's ridiculous minus two we didn't fail uh just enough all right now it's back to our turn so let's uh commit flashlight to the investigate test 404 a elder sign actually i didn't want to succeed that because i wanted to use this but i'll take it one clue, and um, spend a resource, get Glimmer of Hope back for action number two. Action number three, commit Glimmer of Hope. Skull, that's a zero, actually, so we get the clue again. I didn't expect to succeed, but so it is. We have five clues, and that ends our turn. So we got the clues we need, unless a card takes them away from us. Uh, turn ends. Draw a card. Gain a resource. For Doom, and it is the guy I hate the most, the Brotherhood Cultist. The mostest with the mostest. Um, oh God, I hate these guys. Okay. Well, we're going to shoot him with Becky, and um, hmm. yeah, we'll shoot him with Becky. Hmm. Or should I wait till this moves? Can I do that? No, I can't. I can't tank that much. Um, shoot him with Becky. Commit Vicious Blow so we can deal three damage. We're now going uh put a Doom on him. So we're going uh, six, seven to a three. Zero. God, God. If that auto fail came, I would be really upset. Action one. Action two, we move to East Town where Harlan is waiting for us. There's a clue. Uh, we're going to commit, uh, we're going to spend a clue, one clue, in order to search for Alejandro, which will bring out Henry. Cut that up. Henry DeVoe, and now we're going to, so that was action one we moved. Using a clue doesn't take an action. And then action number two. <clears throat> uh, yeah, action number two will move to Rivertown. Action number three will spend three resources and play police badge. That ends our turn. Clue, I mean resource and a card. We get another spiritual resolve. And doom, the, the agenda will advance next turn. And we get a hunting shadow. That means we lose a clue. I'm not too worried about that. Now that we're at Rivertown, I'll spend two clues to advance Trial of the Huntress. And that brings out the Black Cave. Okay, here we go. Um, this is the final moment here. Let's move in to the Black Cave. We're going to investigate three to a three. That's action number two. That's a skull. That's a zero. We succeed. Again, I did not want to succeed. <laughs> action number three. Investigate three to a three. 
A zero. <laughs> I'm actually succeeding these investigate tests that I didn't intend to, to succeed in. Okay, three clues. Um, it doesn't take an action. We'll spend two of them to advance this. And no, we're not going to spend them yet. Or do we must? Is there a must? Only investigators can spend. Yeah, so we don't have to. We're not going to spend our clues yet. So we're still at three clues. Turn ends. Oh, another spiritual resolve. And uh, we got three resources. Agenda advances. We still don't have any um, acts that have been completed. So we don't put a doom on this agenda. <clears throat> we just have a couple of things to do here. Okay. Draw a counter card and there's a locked door. Uh, nearest with no clues, that's that one. It's a dud. <laughs> We're actually doing really well in this one. One of the best runs I've had. Uh, okay, Black Cave. Um, we're going to spend the, the two clues now to advance this. Which means we discard cards. Until we get a cultist. Wow. Oh, oh yes, it's an alkylite. Very nice. Get to Doom. Okay, that was a free action. Um, uh, action number one, we're going to move to Rivertown. That's a location with clues. So it doesn't get plus one health and plus one fight. That means I can kill him very easily. And that's exactly what I plan to do. Uh, I'm attacking. Um, you know what? I'm going to spend a resource, putting me at two, to bring this back. Glimmer of Hope. He hits me for one damage, which will go on Spiritual Resolve. And then we're going to commit spirit, uh, Glimmer of Hope to the combat test to just punch him. A five to a three. That's a skull. That's a minus one. So he is dead. We have completed this act. All right. Um, that was three actions, I believe. One, two, three. Yep. Those three actions. Turn ends, draw a card, glimmer of hope. Gain a resource. Doom. On Wings of Darkness, test four, or take damage and horror. Okay, no problem. Test four. Hey, minus two, I failed. So I take a damage and a horror, killing this. That's five ammo that's going to go on Becky. And this gets reshuffled. One, two, three, four, five. All right. I have plenty of ammo now. I have eight ammo. Um, okay. Final stretch. Okay, so we are uh, going to move to talk to Harlan. So he's a willpower test. So he's got four willpower. Um, we are testing a four to four. We have glimmer of hope. So we can pick up another glimmer of hope by spending a resource. So we'll do that. We'll spend one resource, grab the glimmer of hope. It's action number two. Action number three will parlay. We have to discard three cards from the top of our deck. One, two, three. Okay. Glimmer of hope. So that puts us at a six to a four. Zero. He is um, parlayed. We advance this. It says to bring the relic here. It's got no clue. So we... Um, we complete this agenda and then we have to get an acolyte. So this is completed. We have to search for an acolyte. Mm. 
There you are. He's got a Doom. Okay, so moved in. That was action three. Okay, turn ends, and then we will draw a card, gain a resource. Uh, Doom. And that is Words of Power. Ugh. I don't like that card. <laughs> it's uh makes it tough because you have to take an opportunity attack to to deal with the um the cultist. But I'm not too worried about attacks right now. Let's um let's move into Velma's Diner. Action one. Henry DeVoe requires me to discard a hand a card from my hand. Test three intellect. Okay, so we can do this. Um, I don't remember if he's a cultist or not. Uh, Doom, okay. One or more enemies at your location with Doom on them. I don't think he gets Doom on him, so I'm actually going to leave Words of Power there. I'm not too worried then. Um, so we'll make this test. So that was action one to move. Action two is making the test. We have to discard a card. We'll discard our 45. And let's go ahead and test intellect. We're testing against three intellect. We've got, look what I found with two intellect icons. So we're going a five to a three. Zero. Wow, a lot of zeros. He is parlayed. And now the real him comes out. Haha, -ha. and he gets Alejandro put on him. Oh, I forget that I, I'm supposed to add a Chitaka after the Black Cave. So I actually have an ally that's going to help me here. Um, Alejandro is attached to this guy, and I have words of power. So that was action number two. Action number three, um, I think we can kill him this round, because he's going to have... Plus two health. So he has five health. Yeah, so we'll discard the police badge for two free actions. So we've got three actions left. Let's go ahead and commit and shoot. First bullet at this uh, Henry DeVoe. We are at four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, a four. That's a tablet. That's good enough. Takes two damage. Shoot him again. That, again, is a 8 to a 4. That's a minus 1. Two more damage. Final action. Shoot him. Final time in the face. Minus 2. All right, he's dead. So that's the end of it. So we've completed all the requirements. Let's see how many victory points we've gotten. 1, 2, 3 four, five, six victory points, plus each act gets you an additional victory point um, if you complete act one. So what did I say? Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine victory points, nine experience. That's the, I think the highest you can get in this scenario. Wow, that was a fantastic run and with doom to spare. So if our league game can run like this, I am very confident that this deck could really make it through. The only thing that has really derailed me early is if I draw two Brotherhood Cultists, then I'm just completely done. And if I don't have enough ammo to deal with two Brotherhood Cultists, it's pretty much game over at that point. So most important things is keeping ammo on those guns and uh, making sure those brother Brotherhood Cultists don't decimate our game i mean that's going to be hard to really plan for but um i i don't know any other way to deal with them uh other than just you know try to kill them quick uh, autofill is always a thing so there's always that possibility so you never know with these things i mean so far the deck's been running really really strong this is my best run yet i, I haven't gotten nine experience points in this uh scenario yet but um uh, this is, uh, this is definitely the best run I've had. So if we can run like this, then we are going to be phenomenal. Oh, by the way, I added Versatile to the deck. Um, 
mostly so I can add some more skill cards for willpower tests. That that was lacking big time in my previous editions of the deck. Um, so, you know, I know it thins my deck out or it thickens my deck, so it makes it harder to get cards you need. But uh, because of that, I, the card off class card that I got was Mr. Rook, which is a fantastic card for that kind of thing. So, so far it's worked pretty well. Um, all right, so good game. Uh, I, I'm very confident that this deck is going to do, at least do well in this scenario. Knock on wood. <laughs> uh, barring any bad pulls from the, from the bag. All right, guys, take care. Thanks for watching.